Square. Biggest influence besides Prince? Besides Prince, um, Scully D just he did a couple songs when I was a kid that I really liked, but yeah, there's influences from every year for sure. Exactly. Yeah. You could say a year and then the influence and then it'll be yeah. Okay. Do you um, wanna sit in and we'll just I'll together? sit down with you, man. Yeah, sure why Doing not? Together. Okay, cool. What's your favorite record? Ever? Yeah. Ever. John Coltrane, Love Supreme. Oh, okay. I think it's overwhelming. There's so much music now. It's like so much at everyone's fingertips, and it's a good thing and a bad thing. Like, I, I enjoy it. Like, you can go on SoundCloud and just, like, find one thing and then look at the related things and just keep going. Like, Spotify, all those. Uh, <laughs> I mean, back yeah, to the I beginning, mean, maybe, maybe almost, flying. but with uh, with whatever the people are into nowadays, like say um, the music now, like Amigos or the stuff that's real popular, yeah. that stuff really sounds like 80s hip hop and it's just updated to yeah. a newer, newer style, yeah. but it's basically the same thing we were growing up yeah. on. It all just recycles, goes around, but someone that adds their own take to it you know? right now it's it's a whole new game kids nowadays they don't it doesn't matter what they sample they'll sample youtube they'll sample spotify they're not digging in records they're not, yeah right and they don't and that's know that's fine too yeah it's perfect but then they don't know they're not trying to research everything that's been sampled if they like it they just go to but the rules change yeah. too because like it's a different generation so it's right like the rules that the people in the 90s made, oh, that's my parents, they, they thought that way, so I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to prove that they're wrong, I'm going to do it this way. I usually tell people don't do it, do do exercise <laughs> music, but like for me, I always was told that, and I didn't want to do anything else besides music, so I'm happy that that's what I did. And the other advice I would say is to don't listen, don't listen to anybody because in the end, like you can control your own destiny with music. I mean, yeah, I had a lot of no's, no's, no's growing up, and I just wanted to do it because there's nothing else I wanted to do. So practice and um, and learn learn about everybody. Learn about some of the greats that you that are doing what you do um, and then try to make your own style out of all that and like you said don't stop don't take the nose yeah. someone like a, a odd future and the way they did things when they first came out they just were doing their own mixtapes and doing their own their own stuff and they Social used network. they used it yeah and they used all the internet and the twitter and whatever else was out at the time to push themselves and they're now everyone knows who Tyler the Creator is, you know? Yeah. But before they were just kids in their bedrooms bugging out and they didn't take a no. They weren't tripping on, they were doing it for them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's what you have to do. They're just having fun with it, I yeah. think. And I, I, and when it stops getting fun, then think of doing something else. But I, I can't see it stop getting fun, though. I've been doing it for 30 years Every, and it's still fun. Right.